The Eden is a salmon river. It has always been a salmon river and it should always be a salmon river. And for thousands of years, the Eden has been part of the story of one of the world's truly great species migrations, that of the wild Atlantic salmon, Salmo Salar. But here's the problem. Eden's wild Atlantic salmon are now under threat. There's been a long-term silent decline in numbers, placing the survival of this species of global, ecological and cultural significance in real jeopardy. Numbers of returning salmon are dwindling to such an extent that this most magnificent of fish could become extinct on the Eden during our children's lifetime. This film is a story of how a big fish inspired an ingenious fundraising campaign. So the story behind this sculpture is back in 2009 when I joined Eden Rivers Trust, I quickly became aware of the fact that the English rod caught record salmon was caught on the Eden in November 1888 and the stuffed fish resides in the collection of the Natural History Museum down in London. And I just remember thinking to myself, God, we, we could really make something out of that. So I approached David Williams Ellis one day and said, how do you fancy doing a sculpture, not, not of just one of these fish, but of a pair of these fish approaching the size of, of 50 pounds plus. David Williams Ellis has been a long-standing supporter of the work of Eden Rivers Trust. His studio is on the banks of the Eden. He's an internationally renowned sculptor. I make um, sculptures out of clay, from life, a lot of the human figure, some animals, some birds, uh, and now some fish. The project of, of making this sculpture is, is really exciting for me. Now, I live on the River Eden, uh, which is perhaps one of the most beautiful places in the British Isles, with one of the most incredibly beautiful rivers. The essence of getting a really successful sculpture is to catch that little bit of magic that gets you in the stomach and makes you breathe in when you see that something is either painted or sculpted really well. And I think the essence in this fish, in the salmon, is to catch that energy of just the fins moving. What you want to have is that feeling of, of something is about to happen rather than it's happened. And leaves you as a viewer with an anticipation. If you can get that magic into the sculpture and it, it's a feeling, you just can't describe it, it, it's very much a feeling from, from the heart. Organisations like Eden Rivers Trust, we, we want to crack on and, and get stuff done in the here and now really and that's about direct practical intervention, the stuff that will improve the conditions that salmon need to thrive and spawn. The decline of salmon, I feel, is one of the great untold stories. It, you know, rivers without salmon in them should be no less acceptable to the public than woodlands without songbirds. But the great British public don't, don't know about this, and that has to change. We need to convert awareness into direct support and action to get stuff done on the Eden in the here and now to save this truly magnificent species before it's too late.